Hello guys and welcome to part three. If you haven't already seen part one and part two, now part one is the story behind Dave and how this whole build came together. Part two is a full detailed walk around of the build and now you've come to watch this part three with the challenges. So make sure there'll be a link down below those first two parts. Make sure you check out those before you watch the third section. All right Dave, so it's come to the favorite part of the day for you. Yeah. Now normally street like street registered cars, I do these challenges. Race cars don't do the challenges, but this is kind of a bit of both. So you've got a little advantage there. Um, but essentially what we're gonna do is a sprint, we're gonna do a comfort challenge, we're gonna do a flex challenge, and then the economy. Now, none of this is scientific at all, just a bit of fun. Yeah. But um, it's good to just chuck it on the leaderboard for the other cars that I've done. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Yep. First thing's a sprint. So you could put it in four-wheel drive if you want, two-wheel drive, I don't really care, just the only problem it. is it's just going to light the tires. Yeah, you're going to have to just try and find that traction and yeah, slowly and get on it. And then so that's why I maybe go forward drive. Everyone else goes forward drive. So yep. just try and get that traction. Yep. And just I'm going to step out 100 meters. Uh, yeah, 100 meters, 100 Sam steps. <laughs> yep. And um, just on an old stopwatch and we'll see what she can do. Perfect. Done deal. Sweet. Let's get into it. All right, we're about to do the first challenge. It's 100 meter sprint or the 100 step sprint. Let's see how we go. I was going to put it in 4B, but didn't bring Allen keys to put it in, lock the hubs in, so we'll see how we go. It's probably just going to break traction the whole way. <laughs> I didn't say go! <laughs> got zero seconds! I've got, to, I've got to count you in. So. Yeah, sorry. I'll, I'll go up and I'll be like a three, two, one, and then I'll drop. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Just what I thought, no traction, sideways, not even surprised. He got a bit sideways and still did like a 744. Maybe I'm just walking a bit short these days because it didn't look like 100 meters. <coughs> we got that one, but you got a bit sideways. 744. Sweet. Happy with that? That's pretty quick. Anywhere in the sevens is up there. Yeah. For two wheel drive, you're two wheel drive, yeah? Yeah. Ah. All right, well, the next challenge is the comfort challenge. So we'll go find a little bit of terrain, yep. cup on the bonnet, and you pretty much got to get up to 50 k's an hour, then break again to a stop yep. and see how much water comes out. Super simple. Yep. Let's go do that. Righto. Alrighty, so we've got the comfort challenge, a few little, it's kind of like potholes, this sort of stuff, so we'll see how it goes, 50k, see how much water's left. We're about to do the water challenge on the bonnet. I don't think it's going to go too well because the suspension's not all dialed in or tuned yet, so we're probably going to lose all the water. It's already shaken a couple of centimetres out just from the cam, so it's not looking promising. <laughs> Wipers are on and everything. Was that a rough ride? It wasn't that bad. Not too bad. There you Better go. When the shocks are tuned in. It's good. I've actually put markers on it now, so I don't have to guess. That's about 65 percent. Wait, was that 50, 60, 65? I reckon 66 and a half. I'll give him 67. 67 percent. Ter terrible. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, now the last one's flex challenge, so we don't have a flex ramp. I tried to find one, I put a word out on Instagram, but we couldn't get one, so apparently the thing flex is like a brick at the moment, so we'll just find a bit of a rock or a mound or something, and it shouldn't be too hard, so let's go do that. So as we were looking around for a flex ramp, it proved to be a little bit difficult, but we did find a rock, and well, this happened. the rock. You broke the rock in half. <laughs> Dave 
Dave realized that he did have some flex shots when the thing was getting built. So he sent me some photos and we were able to get that marking there. And it was about, my estimate from the bottom of the tire to the ground would be about 850 millimeters. So we got off that photo, take that with a grain of salt, but that's how it flexed back then. I'm sure it'd be similar now. All right, so as usual, the start of the day, we're gonna be filling up for the economy test. So a bit of 98 in this one. How big's the tank? 90, I think. That's a big the top tank. of my head. What's the estimation on the economy, Eric? Depends how you drive it. I reckon it'll, it'll be, it'll be it over 30 litres, I reckon. Oh, it's pretty much filled full anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, we'll, get, we'll come back at the end of the day and see how many litres she's used. All right, we're back at the survey. We've agreed we did about, what was it, 80 k's? 70? It was a small little leak when we filled it up, but nothing to stress about. It's not going to be amazing, we know that. Yeah. 25 litres. All right. 25 litres, so. 37 litres per 100. 37 litres per 100, that is definitely a race truck spec. No one said it was that's fuel you, efficient. Yeah, that's what, the price of power, right? All right, we'll go to the leaderboard. Smiles per gallon. Miles per mile. Hello guys and welcome back to the Rig Rundown Leaderboard. Now we're starting with the Sprint Challenge. Now Dave went a 7.44, which actually matched the time of the Alpha Adventure 79 series. Now keep in mind that Dave only had two wheel drive and this challenge was basically spinning wheels the whole way. The next challenge was the cup on the bonnet. Now I gave him a generous 67%, which still was not enough to get on the board. Obviously having that untuned suspension really hurt him in this one here. Then the next one we had was obviously the flex challenge. Now with his home job that he provided, we estimated about an 850 millimeter, which is put him in that second place. Now that's quite interesting because the first place is the GU that Curtis had, which was pretty similar setup. It had those twin shock combo kind of trophy truck setup. So interesting to see both of them at the top there. And then the final challenge was a horrid 37 liters per hundred, which of course would not make it on the board. So there are our leaderboard standings there. Make sure guys you subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed and stick around for the next rig rundown. See where the thing sits. Also comment down below if you have an awesome car you've seen in this country. I really like those different kind of builds. Something like this Hilux is exactly what I'm looking for. We'll see you guys next time. Hello guys and welcome to Built Not Bought HQ. Make sure to click on the far left to subscribe to the channel. Click down below to see the latest episode if you missed it. And don't forget our merchandise on our website. See you in the next episode.